Breaking news here on this Thursday on the early line on Sports Grid, as was maybe expected in the NBA after the Cavaliers were bounced in five games from the second round. Cleveland has made a change in its head coaching position. The Cavs have fired J.B. Bickerstaff as of this Thursday morning. A new head man in the land. We'll see what it means for bringing back a roster that includes Donovan Mitchell. And also, we upset with the way he performed in the playoffs without half of his team against maybe the best team in the NBA. It was his fault. Right. Forget about the season. Ben, you always hear me tell this, specifically in the NBA. You're hired to be fired, and we get that. You also saw at the end of the season the owner, Dan Gilbert, of the Cleveland Cavaliers, stepped in and goes, yeah, I'm going to be much more involved this offseason, which only meant one thing. I don't want to lose Donovan Mitchell at this point. And whatever he wants will make that change. Now, granted, if Donovan Mitchell didn't like even in the slightest J.B. Bickerstaff, you knew who was going to lose that battle. Not the superstar player. It was going to be the coach here. So I actually moved the odds for Donovan Mitchell staying a little bit better than what they were just a day ago with this news. And also, if the owner is stepping in, that means he's trying to appease superstar players, not the actual front office and or basketball staff. Yeah, DRS, one of my favorite things about the NBA offseason that can start immediately for a team, even if they are bounced from the second round of the playoffs, is as soon as that season ends, you get reports about dysfunction within the locker room, how star players wanted something else, so on and so forth. And those came out last week as soon as Boston won game five in a game in which Donovan Mitchell, Karis LeVert, and Jarrett Allen did not play and the Cavs lost by 15 but did cover as a 16 point underdog now J.B. Bickerstaff in the last two years has brought Cleveland to the postseason in the two years that Spida has been with the Cavaliers they won nearly a hundred games in the regular season 99 to be in fact and yet were bounced in the opening round of the playoffs by the Knicks two years ago here in the second round by the Boston Celtics. Incredibly shorthanded this time around. Never reaching that ceiling potentially with the Cavs, but did the Cavaliers really have much higher of a ceiling than a second round playoff appearance in the Eastern Conference? I'm not so sure. Our guy Sham Sharania on FanDuel TV reporting that Kenny Atkinson, Warriors assistant, is maybe in line or at least is a candidate at this moment. 